Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today, we finally, finally, finally have some major news about 2K16. So smash that like button. Let's try and get over 2,000 likes on this video. Today, WWE 2K16 gameplay was finally revealed by IGN, along with a lot of information about the game itself. Now, all of these clips and photos you see in this video are owned by IGN, and the links to the full gameplay videos and entrance videos will be linked in the description below, so make sure you go check out uh, those full uncut pieces of video, which actually look phenomenal. So while you enjoy these incredible screenshots on the screen right now, I'm going to dive into a few of the additions that were implemented in 2K16. First and foremost, my career is back, and it says this time it can take you all the way to gaining admission to the WWE Hall of Fame. Now, of course, there's no details exactly about uh, changes to the mode itself, but in 2K16, it will definitely be expanded uh, to be much longer than it was in 2K15. Create a diva, create a show, create an arena, and create a championship are back. That's huge. Huge features that were removed from 2K15, and they're back in 2K16. WWE Universe wrestlers can now be booked to multiple shows. The online feature has been completely overhauled, which is huge because online in 2K15 was just, it, it was just, it was bad. It was just flat out bad. So I'm, I'm so happy to see that they're overhauling that entire thing. Three man commentary team JBL, King, Michael Cole. Ladder matches, handicap matches, and tornado tag team matches are added back in. I'm assuming. These aren't the only ones that have been added back in. I could be wrong on that, but I would think that uh, they're trying to save some surprises for uh, when we get a little closer to release times. But for right now, Ladder, Handicap, and Tornado Tags are back in 2K16. No loading screens between entrances, and you can assault opponents during their entrance, which is awesome. On this screenshot on the screen, you can see up in the top left corner, it says Break Out, and it gives you a little timed window to when you can come down and attack your opponent during their entrance, which is awesome. I really can't wait to see that in action. And finally, improved referee and manager AI. Oh my god, people. How long have I been talking about the referee AI in 2K15? How, how many times? Go back and watch career mode. Go back and watch my other 2K15 videos. At least every other video. <laughs> I'm talking some kind of shit about the ref AI. So I'm so happy to see that they're overhauling that. Now, as far as the gameplay itself, which again, click the links in the description below to see uh, the full videos. I don't want to get in trouble for re-uploading <laughs> IGN stuff. This is all courtesy of IGN, so thanks to them for uh, finally bringing us some, some awesome information. The gameplay is, is very similar to 2K15. You can kind of see that uh, if you watch the video. Chain grappling is back, which I wasn't the biggest fan of, but it does seem like there were some improvements made to it. But on top of that, this year, two really big changes were made to reversals in the game and how they actually uh, will function. You start each match, this is a quote, this is a direct quote, this is huge. You start each match with a limited amount of reversals. Once you use one, it slowly regenerates. Meaning if you try to counter every move thrown your way, you'll be out of reversals, leaving you completely vulnerable until one of them regenerates. That is huge. Now they expand on that saying that you can actually pass on your initial chance to reverse a move at its startup and instead attempt a more difficult to time major reversal mid-move. It's gonna cost you two reversal stocks. That's crazy that they're calling them that, reversal stocks. But the effects can be match changing, debuffing your opponent in a variety of possible ways, and giving you time to really turn things around. All of that on top of the already announced biggest roster of all time, over 120 uh, unique characters. This is gonna be a hell of a wrestling game. I know a lot of us are kind of uh, keeping our fingers crossed that this will kind of fill the gaps that 2K15 left. And, and if they do that properly, if the gameplay feels good, and all of this comes together correctly, we could be looking at potentially one of the greatest wrestling games of all time. With roster, gameplay features, improved career mode, improved AI, all this other crazy stuff. The graphics look amazing. I'm crazy excited about 2K16. I'm not gonna lie, people. Obviously, I'm gonna be covering this game extensively leading up to, and of course, after its release on October 27th. So make sure you subscribe right now if you're not subscribed already for much more 2K16 
Thank you guys, as always, for watching. Make sure you let me know in the comment section below what you're most looking forward to and what you're most excited about of the things that you know about 2K16. Let me know that down below. Thank you, as always, for watching. Make sure you smash that like button before you go, and I'll see you soon.